Hello, everybody. This is Gerald Salenti, and it's Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. And your new Trends Journal is out. Your new Trends Journal is out. It's, to, what, 12 days before Christmas, and here's your cover. Yep, this Christmas, stop the wars, be a warrior for the Prince of Peace. Yep, Christmas time again. It's not what you believe in, what religion you believe in. If you believe in Christmas, then you believe in the Prince of Peace. I'm not saying you got to believe in Christmas. I know. And of course, there was Santa Claus. You know, he'd come down the chimney. Yep, and put the stockings up. He'd stuff them up with toys, you know. No, I mean, the real meaning of Christmas, you know, it's about the Prince of Peace. And we have to stop these wars. But all they talk about about Christmas is the Wall Street Journal. Black Friday status dims as stores sales fall short. That's Christmas. No, that's not Christmas. Oh, black. And by the way, I find Black Friday racist. We should call it Gender Friday or Stupid Friday. Black Friday. Going back to the cover of the Trends Journal. This Christmas, stop the wars, be a warrior for the Prince of Peace. So, you know, every day, like everybody, I get, you know, tons of emails and I got a press release. Lockheed Martin donates $240,000 to wreaths across America. Columbia Falls. Blah, blah, blah. Today, national nonprofit wreaths across America is proud to announce that Lockheed Martin has made 240,000 donation to sponsor 16,000 veterans wreaths for placements at participating locations this National Wreaths Across America Day, Saturday, December 17th. Lockheed Martin has proudly supported Wreaths Across America for five years. This is fucking bullshit. Lockheed Martin, the biggest defense contractor in the United States, only number two, the coming in number two is Raytheon, where the guy that plays our Secretary of Defense just left their board of directors. Isn't that nice? The biggest defense contractors sending wreaths to poor guys and women, mostly men, that died fighting murderous criminal wars merry christmas yeah this is satanic and demonic this is not christmas hey mr lockheed shove the fucking wreaths up your ass how about taking care of what what 20 20 oh calm down salenti don't get angry let them keep killing people around the world. Be a good American. Bend over and take it up the ass. Oh. Or any other way you want. Got to be, uh, you know, gender equal. This is terrible. They estimate that 20 on average a day former servicemen commit suicide for the hell that they brought them through. America goes not abroad in search of monsters to destroy, said John Adams, President of the United States. And that's all we're doing. War after war after war. He who is not angry when there is just cause for anger is immoral. Why? Because anger looks to the good of justice. And if you can live amid injustice without anger, you are immoral as well as unjust. I am angry. I am a man. And I won't swallow shit. I'm not a shit swallower. I'm not like the clowns that swallow shit and believe the crap shoved down their throat by little fucking imbeciles by the name of Chucky Schumer. 
Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham, Adam Shit, one fucking prick, and I can't say the other word that's destroying our lives in front of us. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas? The Pope has offered harrowing vision of the future today, saying he has seen signs of an even darker times ahead for humanity. Excuse me, he said this on Sunday. Omens of even greater destruction and desolation. I guess he reads the Trends Journal because that's exactly the way I feel. World War III's begun. Want more proof? Those fucking slimy British pricks. Yeah, where the sun never set on the British Empire. Hey, you people in India loved them, huh? Hey, how about in Burma? You mean Myanmar? Yeah. One fucking country after another. Enslaving and killing millions and millions of people. Now the fucking scumbags are in Ukraine. British Royal Marines conducted high-risk operations in Ukraine in April. Lieutenant General Robert McGowan wrote in the Forces Online Journal. Yep. Russia's been claiming that NATO troops have been there. And I love the word, British Royal Marines. Royal fucking murderers. Stay home. Your country's going down the crapper. Oh, you know why? Because you follow crapheads. Hey, how about that guy, huh? Boris, uh, Boris, uh, what was his name? Um, a clown, Boris Clown. Yeah. These are the kind of fucking people that you follow. A shithead like Boris Johnson. All right? Royal Marines. Royal Stay the fuck home. You're not royal. Oh, royalty. Royalty is better than anybody else. Salenti, you're just a, a, a wop from the Bronx. Oh, not royalty. And speaking of bullshit, it's time to wear a mask again. Experts say, health experts. Oh, yeah. Read the Trends Journal about all the ineffectiveness of the masks. But that's the headline in Yahoo News. Yep. And the good news is, going back to the cover of the Trends Journal, on the Cartoon News Network, CNN, U.S. will send Patriot missiles to Ukraine. Stop the wars, be a warrior. Patriot missiles. Did Orwell write that word? You imagine calling a missile a Patriot missile? This is how fucking demonic and satanic these people are. Merry Christmas. Go to hell. Patriot missile. You're like the Patriot Act that robs us of all our rights. This is serious stuff, man. Then we're man. Yep. Oh. Talking about um, stupidity, ignorance. And a lot of crap. The House passed a record $858 billion National Defense Authorization Act. Kill more people around the globe. $838 billion. That doesn't put in like homeland security that they created that has over 200,000 employees for nothing. One after another, the CIA, we don't know. The numbers are way over a, a trillion dollars. NSA, yeah, F-U-C-K. And speaking of crap and bullshit, the person playing our Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, Ms. Fatsha Brut, yeah, she was on 60 Minutes saying that inflation's over. This is the one that we wrote in the Trends Journal back in May of 2021, said that there was no inflation, it was only temporary. And now she's saying it's over. And she's also saying that we're doing everything we can to bring this war to a conclusion. Of course, we are providing considerable help to Ukraine, both militarily and economic. Isn't that great? 
Wonderful. Keep the wars going. Merry Christmas. Have a good time. So now on your Trends Journal, another spectacular issue with information, facts, and forecasts that you will not find anywhere else in the world. Trends on the economic front. Yep. All what's going on, what's going up, what's going down, what to watch for, and what's next. Trends on the global economic front. When the economy falls, jobs go with it. This is our 21st week of putting down the job losses. And they're growing bigger and bigger each week. And they're shoving down this yelling that everything is going to be fine and we know what we're doing. Yep. Oh, and they put a price a cap on Russian oil. Huh. Today, Brent crude spiked over $80 a barrel again. We telling you where it's going that no one else is saying, because there are other geopolitical issues, not only with Russia, but in the Middle East that could bring oil prices skyrocketing well above $100 a barrel because Putin threats to cut off oil output in response to price caps. This war is heating up. World War III has already begun. As I said, the UK, the F-U-C-K, has admitted that they're fighting the Russians. <laughs> China's exports plunge in November. On and on. And again, special Ukraine report, the Secretary of State Blinken, and the little arrogant little fuck, the Dalton boy, and I went to Harvard, and don't you know who my daddy was? Yep. We weaponize Ukraine to defeat Russia. Isn't that nice? Stealing our money to keep a war going that would have ended a long time ago. And guest article it's by Dr. Joseph McCola and, and very important trends in technocracy by Joe Duran, trends in geopolitics, trends in the COVID war, trends in crypto, this week in surveillance, trends I view, ultra processed foods, eat them, and lose your mind. Only 60% of Americans fatten up on ultra-processed foods. Yep. Worried about COVID? Yep. Forever chemicals will be here forever. Don't worry about that. Oh, in Japan? This is the way they write it in the news. Fukushima. Japan prepares to discharge water from the plant into the sea. Isn't that nice? Discharge water from the plant. You mean poison fucking water? So this is the way we report it in the Trends Journal. Japan preparing to poison the planet. We got the facts in there. Yeah, Fukushima, fuck you. And uh, Trends in High Tech by Ben Davis. We're giving you everything we can to help you prepare for these times ahead. As the Pope came out on Sunday, it's rough times ahead unless we change them. United we stand, divided we die. So number one, rather than paying the federal government from stealing your money, you get a tax break by donating to Occupy Peace and other nonprofits. OccupyPeace.com, OccupyPeace.com. I am going to do everything I can in 2023 to launch a global peace movement. And our other site is freedompeacejustice.com, the Universal Church of freedompeacejustice.com. I am going to do everything I can. I, Gerald Salenti, am a warrior for the Prince of Peace. I'm a fighter. I'm not a bullshitter. And I'm fighting for peace. Can't do it alone. United we stand, divided we die. If we want to have a Merry Christmas next year, let's make it merry and bring back life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And of course, for yourself, the Trends Journal. Trendsjournal.com, trendsjournal.com. It averages over 150 pages a week. 
you'll be giving you everything we can. No ads. Flip book. You can flip it. You can print out the PDF. And again, the covers that we have and what Anthony Frieda and everybody, all the staff does, we're giving you every ounce of energy that we have to give you the best that we have to help you do the best that you can. So thank you. And remember, trendsjournal.com, trendsjournal.com. And tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time, Saledi and the judge, Judge Andrew Napolitano. See you tomorrow. From COVID war to Ukraine war to world war. Are you prepared for what's next? These are unprecedented times. What's next? What's going to happen? Read the Trends Journal. We have an unsurpassed track record of forecasting history before it happens. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. Read history before it happens. From the world leader in trend forecasting.